Hi guys, this is Kathleen Cooper with Remax Professional Associates here in uh, Charlton, Massachusetts, your best option real estate team. I just wanted to talk to you guys today about something that's kind of been bugging me in the marketplace. Uh, I'm working with a lot of investor buyers right now and you know they all go in and they want to get a deal so they see a property come on the market and they decide to write up an offer. Well, what happens once that offer goes in is a lot of times you get a, a rejection email back from the listing agent saying, sorry, but we've accepted another offer. Um, to me, that kind of ticks me off because for one of my sellers, if I was getting an offer in and then I knew a second or third was coming, I would try and notify all agents, let them know that we have a multiple offer situation and uh, try and get them to put in their highest and best offer. That way it kind of gets rid of all the low offers that people think they're going to go in and they're just going to start off at maybe say 120 but they're willing to pay 140. Um, definitely coming back and just a best practice I think for listing agents would be to come and say that you have multiple offers and allow everybody a chance to put in their highest and best. Unfortunately, especially REO agents right now are for some reason not doing this. Uh, so I don't think you're doing your sellers any justice, even though they're banks, they're still your sellers and you're still supposed to be getting them top dollar for these properties. So uh, please, if you're out there, and you're listing these properties and you're getting offers in on it, uh, don't just go accept them. Go back and let everybody know that these offers are coming in and, and work on getting highest and best because when your property is on the market just for one day, two days, and we put in a pretty strong offer, but we could go a little bit higher, just give us that, that chance, that opportunity. I know you say get your buyers educated, get them to put in the price, but you know how it is working with investors. They're not always going to listen to you and they're always going to want to try and see what the bank says or see what the seller says and uh, we have to appease them. So we write it up and we submit it after all of our hard work trying to let them know what they should be putting in, but they want to see and then they're losing these properties because you guys are just taking another offer when you could have probably gotten even more than what you got. So. Uh, I just wanted to vent a little bit about that, let you know that that's a uh, best practice that I think should be practiced right now in real estate. I'm not seeing it a lot in my area. Um, there's, I've asked people around my office, and a lot of them believe that it's a best practice and that's what they do. Uh, unfortunately, in some of the other local offices and some of the big uh, teams in the area are just not practicing that way. So, uh, All you investors, note to you, please put in your highest and best, do what you can do, but uh, it's not always going to work. So. Have a great day, and uh, thanks for visiting. You can always find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash bestoption.